Well, Dr. Craig Evans is with us this week. He's one of the foremost scholars alive today in the New Testament and the study of the historical Jesus. He's lectured at numerous leading universities, including Cambridge, Oxford, Princeton, and Yale. He's been interviewed by the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal. He also has served as the consultant for the Bible television miniseries, viewed by over 100 million North Americans. He's a prolific writer, 70 books, hundreds of journal articles and reviews, and he is the Dean of the School of Christian Thought at Houston Baptist University. Dr. Evans, welcome back. Thank you very much. So as we get ready for Good Friday on Friday in just a couple of days and uh, to celebrate Easter on Sunday, we're thinking through the academic scrutiny of Jesus' death and resurrection, which uh, your research and scholarship is so helpful in. So as we get ready to mark Good Friday, can you walk us through what we know from historical and archeological evidence about how Jesus' crucifixion may have happened. Well, we have a very good idea how crucifixion happened. For one thing, we have pictures. We actually have illustrations, not of Jesus necessarily, but of the classic cross shape. I mean, drawings that, that date back to the first century CE? Uh, not quite that far back, but late second century, early wow. third century. We have actual depictions etched into plastered walls that survived antiquity of crucifixion victims. Wow. Now, one of them, of course, is a depiction of, of Jesus by somebody who's mocking a Christian. Hmm. and show in a very unflattering way has Jesus on a cross complete with a donkey's head, an insult uh, that's hmm. directed against this slave who's a Christian. His name is actually written there. Uh, his name is Alexemenos and he's worshiping his God. And of course, it's the crucified Jesus. Wow. So yeah, we, we have an idea and there are early manuscripts that date to the end of the second century and they actually put a cross shape figure in places where the word stauros cross occurs. Right. So we, we do have a good idea of what it looked like. Now, you've even got in your new book, uh, Jesus and the Remains of His Day, you've got a picture of, uh, not obviously of Jesus, but of another person who was crucified with a spike through his heel bone? Yeah, that's one of the most amazing wow. finds ever made. Uh, a number of years ago, an ossuary is recovered, a bone box recovered from a tomb. And when they took the skeletal remains out, they couldn't believe what they saw. There was an 11 centimeter long iron spike still embedded in the right heel. Wow. And the man's name is actually written on the box, Yehohanan, which would be a, a, a Hebrew way of saying John. Sure. So some poor guy named John was crucified and they couldn't get the spike out of his heel because the end of it was bent over like a fish hook. And so they just chipped away the wood and buried him with spike and wood and all. And a year later, his bones are gathered up, placed in a bone box. So that's pretty hard evidence hmm. uh, for what crucifixion looked like in antiquity. Uh, one of the things I learned getting ready to preach this Easter is that the word um, excruciating actually literally means out of the cross. That's correct. It's funny how that happens. So real quick, uh, why do you think God would have chosen crucifixion for his son? Well, assuming that God makes a choice in this matter, mm -hmm. Deuteronomy talks about someone hanging on, uh, hanging from a tree. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the cross, the word for cross is tree. Yeah. And so if you hang on a tree and die, you're cursed. And of course, Jesus dies on a cross. He hangs from a tree. And the apostle Paul says, he, he says, you know what? That means he's the curse for us. And God's curse against sin fell on Jesus in our place. And so it, it becomes theologically significant that Jesus was hanged on a cross and not simply beheaded or, you know, shot with an arrow or something like that. Wow. Well, you know, I know that when we put our minds and our hearts together, we can understand and appreciate what Christ has done for us much more. And you're really helping us with that this week. Thank you so much. We'll be back uh, tomorrow with more. Dr. Evans will be with us all week and we'll be right back after this.